today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use KeyRam. It is a macro software where you can use a macro in pretty much any game. Um, so to start you want to search up KeyRam.net. That is the website. I will leave it in the description and if that link does not work I will put it in the comments. So you just want to click download. You're going to wait for the exe to download. Open the file, run it, and then this is going to take a little bit of a second. You're going to click install. It'll take a little bit of a second to install. Then you want to press launch. Don't close out of Google or whatever browser you were using yet because you're going to need it for a second. Alright, if you want, you can put it as remember selection, but I suggest running it in in incognito mode just to you know helps protect against detection so you want to click yes all right now we'll, while we wait for that to open you'll see the keyboard will come up you have different profiles you can use um, I have used it before so I have everything set to profile one but for now, for this test, I'm going to show you guys on profile 4. You can go ahead and set that to the side for now. And if you want, come up to the top over here where it says macros. you got plenty of different games. You'll be able to use the search bar right here to find any type of game that you want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys from Apex Legends. So for now, we're going to find one. I'm going to use... I'm going to use Jitter Flatline. And you just want to pick that and click download. It'll open up your file. You will come here to this. You'll come up and click editor up here. It'll open up this page. And right down here where you see open file, you'll go ahead and click that. Whichever one you download, as you can see, I've downloaded multiple. You will click whichever one you just downloaded, and it will show up right there. And if you open it up, this one is in this language but usually if it's for aiming or an FPS shooter you want to come over here and bind it to your left mouse button so you'll click you can bind it to pretty much anything but if you want you'll bind it to your left mouse button you'll click macro find added and then you'll find it right in this section so for now I'm going to put it there and then when you want to activate the script you will click right here for now, I'm going to open up Apex. And while we're waiting for that, I'll go ahead and show you. If you come over here to profile sections, you can bind a key to start or stop the program. You can also set it to change your profile. Um, you can set different things. I s you need to download the driver. Um, well, technically, you don't need to but it is very highly suggested just because it helps out and it'll I mean it'll work way better with it um, you can use a VPN or proxy again here's some of the general you know settings um, go ahead and close out of that Activated. What do you think is over here? Deactivated. <laughs> 